Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in previously we have seen how we can create reports and dashboard in Salesforce. In those videos I have explained what is a report, then types of report. After that I have demonstrated you how to create each type of report in Salesforce. In that we have seen how to create tabular report, summary report, matrix report and then joint report. After that we have seen dashboard in Salesforce. In that also I have explained different types of dashboard and then how to create dashboard in Salesforce. The video link I have given in description box, you can go through it. After that, you can also able to create reports and dashboards in Salesforce. Then in that videos, we also have seen how we can add dashboards and reports on the home page of Salesforce. But now in this video, I will explain how we can share reports and dashboards in Salesforce. So without any delay, let's jump to the Salesforce org. There I will show you how we can share the reports and dashboards in Salesforce. So in this video, I will quickly create reports and after that I will show you how we can share that report in the Salesforce org. So here to create the report, click on app launcher, then search for reports, open it. So here I will create the summary report for that here I am clicking on new report. I am going to create report on the leads object. So here I am selecting leads, then click on start report. So here we have default filters. So here I am removing the default filter for that click on filters. Then here you can see here we have show me as a filter by scope. Click on that and then change it to my leads. Click on apply. After that here you can see create date, click on it. And in the range, we need to select all time so that we can see all records till now of the leads object. Then click on apply. Now you will see all the records from the lead object. So here we want to create summary report for that. What we need to do? We need to create group by rows or columns. So here I want to group by the lead source for that. Here you can see here we have drop down, click on it. And then here we have group rows by this field. So here I'm clicking on this field. And now here you can see the report is generated group by the lead source. So here we have three records where we didn't selected any lead source. After that we have 12 records where we selected web as a lead source. Then scroll down here you can see three records as a phone inquiry. Then purchase list as a one record. After that we have one record where we selected lead source as a email. We can also share the tabular report but because of the I will create this report as a dashboard. For that purpose, I have created this as a summary report. Now here I'm going to click on save. You can change the report name. So here I'm providing leads report. As you click on report a unique name, it will be automatically populate. After that scroll down. After that here you can see here we need to select folder in which folder we want to save this report. As you click on select folder, you will see different folder that we have in the Salesforce org. So here I want to select custom report folder, select this and then click on select folder. Here you can see now here we have custom report and then click on save. The report has been successfully created. Now we want to share this report. So for that again click on reports. Now here is very important thing. We cannot share single report in Salesforce. Instead of that, what we need to do, we need to share whole folder. So what if you want to share the single report for that, what we need to do, you need to create different folder and in that folder, you need to save the report that you want to share. And after that, you can share that folder. So the report that we created, we saved that report in the custom folder. So for that here, I'm clicking on all folders and here you can see here we have custom report folder. So before that, let me show you for the particular report. So here we have leads report that we created as I click on this drop down here you can see here we don't have any option to share this report in the Salesforce org. Instead of that what we can do we can export this report in the excel sheet and after that we can share that excel sheet via emails or any communication tool. But what if we want to share this reports and dashboards in the Salesforce org again click on all folders. So here we stored our reports in the custom report as I click on this folder here you can see the leads report that we created again navigate the back on the all folders now as i click on this drop down here you can see here we have share option click on it now here we have share with option as you click on it here we have four options 
users, roles, roles and subordinates and then public groups. So when we select the users, here we can search all users that we have in the Salesforce org. Then as you select roles and then click on names, here you will see role names that we have in the Salesforce. So if you select the CEO, all the users who has assigned this CEO role, for those all users, this report will be get share. Now we have roles and subordinate as you click on it. Now here if I select CEO, then this report will be get shared with the users who has assigned CEO role and after that in the role hierarchy, which roles are under the CEO role for those all users, this report will be get shared. Then we have public groups option as you click on it. Here you can search the public group that you created and after that if you select any public group, all the users who are in that particular public group for all those users, this report will be get shared. So first let's log in by the another user and check whether they can see this report or not. For that let me close this, click on setup. So now for the users in the quick find box, here I am searching for the profile. Open the profile. So here I have created a manager as a custom profile. So here I am opening the manager profile. Then here you need to click on view users so that you can see all users who assigned the manager profile. And now here you can see here I have Anderson Jimmy who is the user who assigned the manager profile. Now here I am going to log in with this user. Then open the reports tab. And now as I open this reports tab, this Jim Anderson cannot see any reports. Let's click on all reports. So these are the public reports. That means that means when you save any report in the public reports, all the users in your Salesforce org can access those reports. So here I'm clicking on all folders. And now here you can see this user don't have permission to access any report folder. Now let's share the report that we created. For that, let me log out with this user. Now here we saved our report in the custom reports. I am going to share this report folder. For that, click on this drop down, then click on share. And now here we have selected users. For that, here we need to select username. So here I am searching for the user that we have, Jim Anderson. Now here you can see here we have access option that means from here we can manage the access as you click on it here we have three options view edit and manage. Now if you select the view access when we share this report the user with whom we shared the report they can only view this report. After that we have edit access if you give the edit access that means they can make changes in this report and after that we have manage access that means that user can have access to share this report also. Now firstly I will show you giving the view access and then click on share. As you click on share scroll down here you can see here we have who can access that means the user roles or the public groups that we share we can see them over here. Now I also want to share this report with the public group so here I am selecting public group and then here I have created sales group here I am selecting this one and again click on share. Now scroll down. From here also you can manage the access. So here for the sales group here I am giving as a edit access and after that click on done button to share the report. Now again login with Jim Anderson for that. So here I am login with that user. Again open the reports tab. And now here you can see here we have shared with me folder. As I open this folder. Now here you can see custom reports and also as you click on this all folder here also you can see that folder. So here I am opening this folder and now here you can see here we have leads report. As I open this report now we can view this report but here you can see here we also have the edit button. If you remember we only give one view access to this Jimmy Anderson but how does edit access came here. So we also added the sales group to share this report and for the public group we have given the edit access. Let's check for this user is this user in that public group. So first let me log out this user. 
in the quick find box search for the public group so here we have sales group here i'm opening this group and now here you can see in this group we have three users and in that we also have the jimmy anderson and because of this jimmy anderson also can the edit the report now let's understand how to share dashboard in salesforce for that let me log out with this user now click on the app launcher and search for the dashboards as you open the dashboards for the dashboard also we cannot share only single or particular dashboards for that we need to share whole folder now if you want to share only single dashboard for that what we can do you can add particular dashboard in that folder and after that you can share that folder so here you can see here i have public dashboard folder and then private folder as i click on add folder now i want to share this dynamic dashboard folder to the another user for that what we can do again here you need to click on this drop down and then here you can see here we have share option click on it and now here you can see here we have same steps where we followed for the share reports so as you click on this share with here also we have four options users roles roles and subordinate and then public group after that when you select the users or any public group here we have manage access where we can manage the view edit and manage options then as you scroll down after selecting users roles or the public groups here we can see the selected users or selected members and after that we need to click on done button to the share the folder of dashboard so in this way we can share the reports and dashboards in the salesforce if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to regular updates thank you